Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we will be talking about one of the biggest problems and of course one of the biggest concerns in Warframe. And while we take this journey, I need all my mathematicians in the comment section, in my subscriber list, and of course those who are watching and viewing this video to get ready to explain some of the things to different people in the comment section in case they do not understand. Because of course we will be trying to understand RNG and how RNG plays and how it works in Warframe. I will try my very best to make this as easy as possible and of course keep it simple as well. In basic math, RNG means a random generation of numbers. However, when it comes to video games, a parameter is set to maintain a fixed range. So if the range is set from 0 to 99, because in some situations they may not set it at 100, they mostly put it at 0 to 99, then the system randomly picks a number in between which also may include 0 or of course 99. Now, the way a number is picked is not random. That's one of the things you guys have to understand. But just a sequence of variables that is determined by the script that the designer and the developer creates. And that is what one of the things and how that works and how that functions. This brings us to Warframe where we assume and pray to RNG Jesus for us to get some of our favorite items and what we desire. But we also have to understand that RNG in Warframe is not the problem. It is the percentage and probability of you being rewarded a specific item. That is what creates the classification of what we know as common, uncommon, and rare items in the game. This, of course, is a percentage that is put in there and set by the developers at DE by themselves. Picture this. It's like you having multiple bowls of cereal with each bowl representing the sugared, colored, healthy, and of course the oatmeal cereal. Now imagine various brands of cereal in each bowl. If you were asked to close your eyes and grab a handful from a bowl of colored cereal, you have the opportunity of grabbing Fruit Loops, Clover Valley, or even a great value brand. Your chances of grabbing the cereal you want is heavily relied on the amount of that cereal mixed in with others. So if you are looking for a Rhino Prime blueprint in a relic pool, you are literally trying to pick one of five Rhino blueprints in a pool of 100 other items. This is why it is important to refine your relics, of course, which also will end up improving your chances of getting the reward that you're looking for. Now that does not mean you will get 100% as far as getting what you're looking for, but it will increase your chances by raising the percentage and the probability of you being able to get that item. Now, the twists and turns come into question when we look at how this system affects enemies and how it interacts with their drop rates and how the resources are being dropped and how we, of course, are able to farm for this. Because if we look at it, each enemy has a drop pool of mods, resources in of course warframe or weapon parts or weapon items so when we look at this the rng sequence for those is also a different type of rng compared to what the rng is when it comes to relic farming or us getting rewards whenever we play our excavation missions or whenever we play our survival missions so this is one of those things that you can only do this by you know trying to maybe farm for multiple runs or trying to go in multiple times and quit and come back and just hope and pray that you're able to get what you're looking for because there is no way you can ever try to narrow your chances as far as getting the items that you want when it comes to drop rates from killing an enemy because when it comes to this particular situation, the odds are never in your favor. And this is one of the problems that we have in face in Warframe is not the fact that there is RNG involved, is the fact that they put a certain percentage on rare items, on common items, and of course common items. The rare items are like the top 1%, while the uncommon are like the lower middle class, and the common are basically the lowest of the lowest. Now, the problem for that percentage is when you have a huge distinction between the rare items 
in the uncommon items, making it and putting you in such a situation where you are more than likely to get a common and an uncommon item and you can only get a rare item maybe once in a blue moon because that has less than 5% chance of dropping in the game. Let me know in the comment section what you think of RNG in general and if this video helped you establish and of course broaden your understanding of the RNG system and how drop rates and chances work in Warframe. If you have another explanation, feel free to leave that below in the comment section so a lot of people can understand and it can help them as well. And if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up and if you would love to see more on this channel, hit that subscribe button. As always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you in the next one.